Hi, all my friends. Uh, welcome to Thursday, the 9th, I think it is today. Yeah, tomorrow's the 10th. Um, and we're going to be in, uh, going to finish up uh, chapter 12, starting with verse 28. Um, and uh, I hope you had a chance to look at the two links that I put on my last videos. Uh, to Scotty Clark's um, website. Also check out Trey Smith uh, website uh, for his updates on, on um, um, gosh, what was he, he, yeah, he was talking with Scotty Clark and um, about the program that he um, was able to do all these screenshots of when uh, the sign of Jesus is coming uh, originally uh, the, the star in the sky that the wise men followed uh, was was going to be uh, in the heavens again because of Revelations 12 talks about um, the same sign that the wise men saw coming again in future so it's prophetic and uh, so it looks like it's going to, could very well happen this year. And we do know it will be in the Feast of Trumpets. We do know, um, the, um, if you study the Jewish traditions, the Jewish feast days, the, um, and, and get some understanding of the culture and the, um, um, the, the the habits that they had, especially when it comes to a wedding. Um, briefly, let me explain. The husband of the bride would go away, okay, and prepare a place for her, him and his his new bride. And that's what Jesus said to the disciples. I go to prepare you a place. I go, I, I have gone to prepare, you know, you a place so that I can bring you up to my place, okay. So the groom would go um, and um, he would take his father's, you know, the father would give the groom a piece of land. So it would anything that the son or the groom were to build would have to be approved by the father, okay? So oftentimes they would say, well, when when is the wedding going to be? Well, I, I don't know the day or the hour. Only my father knows because the father has to approve everything. He has to sign off on it. Okay. So we know that God in heaven, our father in heaven, will tell the son, okay, go down and get him. All right. But we do know the Feast of Trumpets. We do know the, the sign in the sky, what to watch for. We know he's there. He's already built it. It's, you know, it's ready to go. Um... It has to be approved by God, okay? So uh, with all the different signs pointing towards this year, seven, you know, five, seven, 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 seven being, uh, you know, completion year, it is finished, it is finished, it is finished. Um, 17 being an overcomer year, uh, I, I, you know, um, it, it, uh, again, it's completed. Um, very well could be this September Feast of Trumpets because the trumpet would be blown. Certain things have to happen. The trumpet would be blown. It would be a, uh, a sort of a letting know that I'm coming <laughs> to get you. Yahoo! And, um, you know, that kind of thing. So, I just, that's why I just wanted to bring that up. Um, take a look at those websites and... And then, you know, leave me a comment. Let me, let me know what you think. Let, pr pray about it and, and see what the Lord, Holy Spirit reveals to you. Okay. All right. So, um, 1 Kings 12, verse 28. Um, jump right in here. Whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves of gold and said unto them, It is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Behold thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And he set the one on Bethel, and the other he put in Dan. And this thing became a sin. 
for the people went to worship before the one even unto Dan. <sighs> Too bad. And he made a house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not the sons of Levi. And Jeroboam ordained a feast in the eighth month on the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Judah, and he offered upon the altar, and so he did in Bethel, sacrificing unto the calves that he had made, and he placed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had made, and he offered upon the altar which he had made in Bethel the fifteenth day of the eighth month, even in the month which he had devised of his own heart, and ordained a feast unto the children of Israel, and he offered upon the altar of burnt incense. So, evil devices, evil heart, idolatry, uh, idolatry temple, you know, all this. God's not going to be pleased with this, okay? So, chapter 13, Jeroboam's hand withers, but at the prayer of the prophet is restored. The disobedient prophet slain by a lion, Jeroboam's obstinacy. Okay, so, and behold, there came a man out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel, and Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense, and he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord, and said, O altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Jos Josiah by name, and upon thee shall he offer the priest of the high places that burn incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burnt upon thee. Um, I just need the, uh, just to interrupt something here really quick. You know where uh, Jesus was, was buried, um, you know, in um, Aramea's uh, tomb in Israel uh, by the, you know, the, the, um, um, what do you call it? Um, Goliath, go, um, the Skull Mountain, okay. Um, um, anyway, beh okay, behind Jesus' tomb, uh, if you go, uh, okay, if you're standing facing the tomb, if you go up and over, there's a crevice, lead you down behind Jesus' tomb, are all of these king's bones. And and Jesus says somewhere in the Bible that you have laid me amongst king's bones. Okay? And that's actually they found king's bones behind his tomb. I just thought that was really awesome. Okay, anyway, sorry to interrupt. Um that just when I read that bone thing, I just that just brought it to mind. I thought maybe I should share it with you. Um he he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is a sign which the Lord hath spoken behind the altar shall be rent, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass when King Jeroboam heard the saying of the men of God, which had cried against the altar in Bethel, that he put forth his hand from the altar, uh, saying, Lay hold on him, and his hand which he put forth against him dried up, so that he could not pull it in again to himself the altar also was rent the ashes poured out from the altar according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of the Lord and the king answered and said unto the man of God entreat now the face of the Lord thy God and pray for me that my hand may be restored me again and the man of God besought the Lord and the king's hand was restored to him again and and it became as it was before Wow, okay. And the king said unto the man of God, Come home with me and refresh thyself, and I will give thee a reward. And the man of God said unto the king, If thou wilt give me half thine house, I will not go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. Uh, for so it was charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread nor drink water, nor turn uh, again by the same way Thou that, thou that camest. Uh, so go another way. So he went another way, and he returned not by the way that he had come to Bethel. 
Um, okay, so now there, now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel. The sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel, and the words which he had spoken unto the king, them they told also to the father. And the father said unto them, What way went he, he his sons, that had seen what way the man of God went, which came from Judah? And he said unto his sons, Saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass, and he rode thereon. And went after the man of God, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, Art thou the man of God that cometh from Judah? And he said, I am. And he said unto him, Come home with me and eat bread. And he said, I may not uh, return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread or drink water with thee in this place. And it was said to me by the word of the Lord that thou shalt eat no bread or drink no water, or, you know, nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest. He said unto him, I am a prophet, also as art thou. And an angel spoke unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee unto thy house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. So he went back uh, with him, and he did eat bread in the house and drink water. And it came to pass that they sat at the table, that the word of the Lord came unto the prophet that brought him back. And he cried unto the man of God that had come from Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, For so as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of the Lord, has not kept the commandment which the Lord thy God commanded thee, but camest back, and hast eaten bread and drunk water in this place, of which the Lord did say to thee, Eat no bread and drink no water. Thy carcass shall not come up unto the sepulchre of thy father's. And it came to pass, after he had eaten bread and after he had drunk, they saddled for him the ass to wit for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, a lion met him by the way and slew him, and his carcass was cast in the way, and the ass stood by it, and the lion also stood by the carcass. And behold, the men passed by, saw the carcass cast in the way, and the lion standing by the carcass, and they came and told it in the city where the old prophet dwelt. And when the prophet that brought him back from the way heard thereof, he said, It is the man of God who was disobedient unto the word of the Lord. Therefore the Lord had delivered him into the lion, which had torn him and slain him according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke unto him. And he spoke to his sons, saying, Saddle me the ass, and they saddled him. And he went and he found... Uh, his carcass cast away, and the ass and the lion standing by the carcass. And the lion had not eaten the carcass, nor torn the ass. And the prophet took up the carcass of the man of God, laid it upon the ass, brought it back. The old prophet came to the city to mourn and bury him. And it came to pass that after they buried him, the sons which said, I am dead, then bury me in the sculpture where the man of God is buried. They laid my bones beside his bones. For the saying which he cried by the word of the Lord against the altar of Bethel, against the house of the high places, which are the cities of Samaria, shall surely come to pass. And after this thing, Jeroboam returned, not from his evil way, but made again the lowest of the people priest of the high places. Whoever should he consecrate him, he became one of the priests of the high places. And this thing became sin unto the house of Jeroboam, even to cut it off and to destroy it, from off the face of the earth. And that ends chapter 13. So I hope you have a blessed day. Leave me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.